been a minute since I posted a YouTube video. So, we're gonna start now. Today, back here in the garage, working on the four-wheeler, I got me some rock lights. Let me put them on. What I did was, Harris is calling me, he can wait. What I did was, I took an idea from somebody, I'm not gonna say any names, but I made this little mount, bolts the rock light just like that, goes in your shock here, and it sits like that, that's your wire. So yeah, I made two of those last night and decided I wanna make a YouTube video. So that's what we're doing now. I'm about to get going on these other two, which I've already got them made. I just gotta drill holes and put the rock light in. So um, yeah, that's all I'm doing today. I'm just gonna make a little video putting these mounts together and on and then it might be a two part thing but i'm going to also film actually installing them and testing them out so as you can see here i already got one mounted it, it's a little dark one it goes into your shock or some kind of bolt back here this is this one specifically is holds on the rear rack but the rock light just sits up there and it's nice you don't have to drill you don't have to drill any holes or anything so that's all I'm doing here. Got uh, two more to do and then wiring them all up. But uh, but yeah, and then I had these on here the other day. Little cop lights, I'll show you those. Possibly a little illegal, but I'm smart enough not to use them on the road or at anybody unless I know them like off on the trails but I thought those are pretty cool so we're about to get at it set y'all up a little bit maybe a time lapse but for now I'm just going to show y'all how I make these mounts and how I'm going to put the rock lights on there so let's get to it so right up, what I'm about to do right now is shave this one down with a grinder and see if it'll work and just kind of keep you in trial and error and We'll get it done in a second. So, got a grinder here. About to start working on this here. All right, so got that done. I'm gonna kinda let it cool off for a second because I know it's probably hot. But I just shaved it down a little bit, get a little bit of a taper going. So um, it should be, I think, a 12 millimeter just to get that front bolt off. So I was wrong. It's actually a 13 millimeter. So I've got a 13 millimeter wrench sitting up there, and I'm hoping that I can just kind of get up in here. Hopefully. Bruh. There it is. So, oh, I'll lose that. Um, so all I did there was took a bolt. It's a little bolt that holds in this front tube that comes down by your rad kit. And it's a 13 millimeter top and bottom. So you need a 13 mil socket and wrench to hold on the top. But that's off. So now I've got a uh, freshly kind of horribly looking shaved mount. And then this bolt that's just gonna come and sit right where it's supposed to go. Finagle it in there, like this. And now put the mount on there. Grab your nut. It's actually a really difficult kind of process to do, but it will fit in there. So that's all we needed to know. So now that I know this doesn't, or this fits now, after I just did a little bit of trimming. Um, what I've been doing is instead of these little cutouts that I initially kind of made, I don't really like that because it's really, really flimsy. Like you can see, they bend really easily. And I kind of made the hole a little bit too big. All right, so now y'all are on the ground. Um, and I'm sorry about the light right there. It's pretty bright and I can't really find an angle where it doesn't really work. So anyways, now what I'm doing is taking the bolt or the mount, and then I've got the rock light here. So like I said, I don't really like the, um, the way it's, I kind of cut it out. But now, what I do is, 
I'm gonna take the rock light, find a spot where it's on each side. So there's gonna have one bolt on each arm. I'm gonna find a good spot where I like it. And um, all I really do is take this little drill bit type deal. And then So from there, maybe I can't really see this. I'm trying to uh, do a little, make a little mark there, flip it over to this side, and then make a little indention. And so it's probably pretty hard to tell on camera, but I got an indention there, and then an indention here. So now that I've got my holes kind of indented in a little starter spot, I'm going to start off with this little eighth inch uh, metal bit and just get these holes started. Second hole drilled. Now what I'm going to do is take this bit out, follow up with this longer and thicker, which is like the perfect thickness for the rock like bolts. Get this top in the drill. And then come behind these pre-holes I drilled. Now I've got the second hole drilled. Ow, that's hot. This one. So now I've got a very, this one's my worst one. I'm not very happy about this one, but it works and that's all I got. So now I've got these two holes drilled. Now I'll show you how I put the rock lights on. So we're gonna grab our hardware. So now I've got hardware here. Got so what I'm gonna do is going to kind of wrap this up a little bit. Um, this one's very bad, actually. You can tell. Look how bad that's been. But hopefully I can get it straightened out. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is put your bolts through your rock light. Just like so. Not, not really in there, but put them in there like that. Then take it, take your mount, and then put your bolts through the mount, like so. Just kind of, just like that. So now I've got the each bolt and washer and nut kind of started on here. And then these specifically are a seven millimeter socket. Slowly, you don't want to over tighten these. Slowly lock in each bolt. Get this one in. Slowly lock it in. And then there you have it. There's three of the four completed. Now all I gotta do is just bolt this to the four-wheeler and then run the wire. So now I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm not gonna film it. All right, y'all. So just finished up the last one. I already got one of them mounted. As y'all saw earlier, it's up there. But I got the rest of the three done. And then I'm also gonna run, I have an eight rock lights, but I'm, I think I'm only gonna use six. I'm gonna put one inside this little storage thing in the back and then one somewhere up in here where it shines down through all of this so but yeah i'm about to get all three of these installed and then we'll go from there all right so ignore that anyways right now all i'm doing is putting trying to drop them first of all but um putting this right rear on it's really simple Put the drill in there. Take this off. Don't lose the knot. Put this up onto the bolt. And then get that started. Put it up there and then so that one's on. 
this is what it looks like installed. Just take that bolt off. Like I said earlier, it holds this rear rack on. Take that off, flip it on there. Your bolts don't run through your plastics and make it all ugly and leave holes. Leave that wire dangling and then on to the front too. So literally within under two minutes or a minute, this one's on, just bent it around this little shock tower. Once again, just goes to show you that your bolts don't have, you don't have to bolt and have bolts sticking up right here. Just makes it really nice, good clean look. Most people won't even really tell. Once again, just gonna leave this wire dangling for now and we're just gonna run it up through here eventually or later on. And so now I'm about to get on to this other weird one that I trimmed a minute ago. Put this one in the front. I also open the garage up to see if can get a little bit better lighting in here. The flashlight and the garage light here was just not doing very good. So I'm gonna get this front right done and then I guess start wiring them up. Can't in the YouTube video, but got them all wrapped up. Got one on each corner. And then I put one inside the grill up in there. And then I put another one under the storage box in there. So now I'm about to get them all wired up and see how bright they are. What do you think, Kenny? They're going to be bright. She thinks they're going to be bright, y'all. We'll see. All right, y'all. It's the next day and I've got all the lights wired up. As you can tell, this thing looks insane. It looks so good. Um, so I'm about to just kind of show you all around, maybe get a little bit of cinematic stuff going, but I couldn't be happier. Um, I think it looks good. I want y'all to drop in the comments what y'all think. And if y'all want to see more videos, because I've been kind of lacking on content. And everybody's been saying, you know, you're selling merch, you know, make some content. And so I ordered these and I figured might as well do a little bit of video of how I did them and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, we're about to ride around a little bit and just kind of show y'all how it looked going down the road, which I haven't even seen yet. Um, I just pulled it out of the garage, just going from work. say you can tell in the last clip four of them or three or four stopped working and it's on my end but so i got about three minutes worth of actual good lighting but i'm gonna get that fixed definitely before i start riding but yeah like and subscribe you know do the usual as always help me grow my channel i'm gonna include a few pictures in the outro of my merch and just kind of See what y'all think. If you want to, there'll be a link in the description. Go check it out. Go check the website out. Even if you don't buy anything, just go tell me what you think. So, 
Also, one other thing. Let me know if you want to see truck content. It's bone stock right now, but I have a new truck. I don't think YouTube ever saw my old truck. But it's going to be lifted in 35s, subs, radio. So if y'all want more content, let me know. I'll make some truck content. But I think for now, that'll be all. So roll the outro.